The final category of macromolecules that we're going to discuss are the nucleic acids. And nucleic acids are the polymers of the subunit or monomer called nucleotides. And there are two different varieties of nucleic acids that we're going to discuss today. Um, the first is DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, and the second is RNA, or ribonucleic acid. And DNA is the genetic material, stores all of the genes and genetic information necessary to not only replicate itself, but also to encode all of the amino acids that make up all of the proteins that make up a full cell and an organism. RNA performs a wide range of functions as well, including having a, several functions in protein synthesis or translation, um, but that DNA is really what stores all of the important genetic information. Both of these nucleic acids, even though they're slightly different, are made up of nucleotides. And each nucleotide is composed of three parts. A phosphate group, which you can see here in yellow, a pentose, or five carbon sugar, which you can see here in teal, and then a nitrogen base, or a nitrogenous base, which you can see here in gray. And there are some slight differences in the nucleotides of DNA and RNA, mainly in the form of which type of sugar those nucleotides have. And so a DNA nucleotide uses a pentose or five carbon sugar called deoxyribose, whereas RNA uses the sugar called ribose. And so you can see ribose here, which is the RNA sugar. It's got one, two, three, four, five carbons, and it has this OH group, or an oxygen and a hydrogen down here on this carbon. And what you'll notice about deoxyribose is it doesn't have the oxygen in that same position. It's deoxygenated. Um, and so once again, you don't have to know the structures of these two molecules, but you do have to know that the sugar in DNA is deoxyribose and the sugar in RNA is ribose. And that is one main difference between these two nucleic acids. One other difference is that um, DNA and RNA use at least one different nitrogen base. And so uh, in the nucleotides of DNA, you have an option of one of four different nitrogen bases um, on the nucleotide. You can have A or adenine, T, thymine, C, cytosine, and G, guanine. So A, T, C, and G are the nitrogen bases for DNA. And RNA has A, C and G, similar to DNA, but it has an additional nuclear or nitrogen base called uracil or U. And you'll notice that RNA does not have thymine, whereas um, and DNA does not have uracil. Right, and so this is another difference between these two nucleotides or two types of nucleotides, these two nucleic acids. So when we're talking about the structure of the nucleic acids um, as a whole molecule, we are going to first start with DNA. And DNA is a double-stranded molecule, meaning that it has two strands. And they come together to form this twisted ladder structure that you can see here on the right, which is called a double helix. And the backbone, or the sides of this ladder, are made up of the sugars and phosphates of the nucleotides. And those strands and those two backbones are held together by the nitrogen bases in the center. More specifically, they're held together by hydrogen bonds that have form between the nitrogen bases of one strand and the nitrogen bases of the other strand. And these hydrogen bonds, when they're singular or one hydrogen bond, are relatively weak. But when put together and they make up and many bonds uh, between nitrogen bases exist in this twisted ladder, they actually provide a lot of stability for um, a DNA molecule. And that's fortunate because DNA, as we said, is the molecule that encodes all of the genetic information that we need to survive. And so you want the molecule that contains the genetic information to be really stable and really resistant um, to anything that can happen to it because you want to be able to retain that genetic information and pass it on to future generations. And the structure of DNA, the double helix, the hydrogen bonding between nitrogen bases is something that helps that happen.
which is slightly different than the structure of RNA. RNA is only one strand or single stranded, and it still has a backbone that's made up of sugar and phosphate molecules, which you can see here, sugar, phosphates, and then nitrogen bases hanging out into the center. There's no bonding because there's no other strand. And because of this structure, this one strand, RNA is actually rather unstable, which we'll talk about a little bit more when we talk about transcription and translation um, later on in the course. And so just to compare the two nucleic acids to each other, um, which is one thing or one learning objective that I do want you to make note of, is that you should know the differences between DNA and RNA, or the two nucleic acids. And they differ in their sugars, they differ in the nitrogen bases that they contain, in that RNA contains uracil, um, whereas DNA contains thymine. They differ in the number of strands that they have, um, as well as whether or not they form a helix structure.